Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Feng Wei, and I'm from the University of Buffalo, and I'm a graduate student, PhD student. <laughs> Today, I'm going to present our work, Excellent Ideas, Explaining Deep Learning Based Network Intrusion Detection System for Active Intrusion Response. Throughout this presentation, I will discuss the motivation behind our research, the method we employed, and the implementation we used to evaluate our system. Okay. In recent years, we see a lot of research about deep learning based network intrusion detection systems, which have shown remarkable performance. To illustrate the workflow of deep learning based network intrusion detection system, we utilize the figure here. As you can see, the network traffic is fed into a deep learning model, which assigns scores or labels to the input and then classifies them based on those scores. In competition to signature based or statistics based ones, deep learning models offer several advantages, such as detect the unseen attacks, as well as ca capture the completed patterns. However, they have some drawbacks. The first one is the semantic gap between the detection result and the, the actionable interpretations. The second one is the high cost of errors. Let's dive into those drawbacks. Okay. As previously mentioned, the detection results are usually shown as scores or labels, but it does not provide enough information for the network operators to understand let alone, let alone take actions. For example, as here you can see, the score maybe seems malicious, but we don't know which flow host to be blocked. As a lack of actionable interpretation can lead to hesitation in the response and potentially exposing the network to unnecessary risks. Now let's shift our focus to the second drawback, the high cost of errors. On one hand, attackers always try to explore the false negatives a dozen of false negative may lead to a significant security breaches. On the other hand, the high occurrence of false positives demands huge human effort, which is time consuming and usually is unrealistic to be addressed. Notably, those two drawbacks are root from the same problem, the low explainability of the deep learning models. To tackle this problem, researchers have developed methods to explain deep learning models. The idea is to provide a clear understanding re regarding the model's decision-making process. However, those methods have focused on image domains and sometimes natural language processing tasks. The, the domain of network intrusion detection has this, its specific challenges, making the direct application of those methods insufficient. As we proceed, we will dive into those specific challenges. The first challenge is how to capture the relevant history. And showing the figure, the detection result for the input A is not solely based on A, and sometimes we consider I mean, several history inputs, but the problem is how to capture those problems. Existing methods such as LIME, which is suitable for explaining image model, use a fixed term, thus insufficient to addressing this problem. On the other hand, using all the history information is also insufficient, considering the huge amount of network traffic. Next, an important observation is that network traffic are usually well structured, but assuming each data is independent, or adjacent features have similar contribution, may result in degenerated explanations. So for network intrusion detection, we need to design no new method to capture those useful information for a better explanation. After explanation, we identify two challenges in generating defense rules. The first one is balance the precision and the generation. On one hand, overly specific rules lead to overfitting and huge overhead. On the other hand, too, too general rules may disrupt the normal traffic and easily make the network unusable. Second, Network defense tools share similar functionality but different formats. A desired defense rules should be applicable across different tools. For example, OpenFlow and diff I mean, IP table rules use different format of rules to block the same side flight attack. To address the challenges we discussed previously, we propose a new system called Axiom IDS. The primary goal of this system is to, exp to generate explainable results for the detection. And then we will utilize those explainable results to I mean, troubleshooting the system and reduce the error cost. And uh, beyond that, we go one step further to generate defense rules for active response. And this is a major contribution of our work. 
Let's dive into the details. In our work, we did introduce the history constraints to approximate the relevant histories. And second, we also imply weighted sampling to assign large weights to most recent ones other than old ones, based on the intuition that recent inputs may have a bigger impact on the detection result than the old ones. Furthermore, we utilize sparse group lasso and domain knowledge to capture the complex feature dependency for better explanation. Here, we integrate those insights into a whole model to faithfully approximate the local decision boundary of deep learning-based network intrusion detection system. Notably, our method can also achieve cross-group and within-group sparsity, which is important for the root generation, since a lot of I mean, a huge number of features will I mean, make the root generation very slow. After explanation, we proceed to generating rules. First, we create a unified defense rules that are suitable for different defense tools. Second, we refine the unified defense rules into action or rules to be deployed to specific defense tools, for example, AP tables rules. To balance the precision and the generalization, we introduce the concept of rule scopes, and we define three scopes, the pro-flow scope, the pro-host scope, and the multiple host scope. For different network attacks, as well as different network environments, we may need to utilize different scopes collaborating with the network environments, as well as the requirements from the network operators. To be applicable to different different tools, we introduce a unified rules representation, as shown in the figures. Each unified rule consists of four fields, entity, action, priority, and timeout. Each of them serves different roles. For example, the entity is the target we are going to apply the rule on, and the timeout is used to discard those old rules and make, make a play, I mean, space for the new rules. And the priority is to solve the conflict between each rules. A higher rule with, I mean, a rule with high priority will be exceeded first. We evaluate our method from multiple aspects, including the fidelity, sparsity, completeness, and the stability of our explanation. We also evaluate the practicability and efficiency of defense rules. Finally, we showcase how to troubleshooting the system as well as how to enable active intuition response. First, we focus on how feasible the explanation method captures the relevant features. Here in the table, a smaller number means a better explanation since the, the, the model can capture the relevant feature and make the decisions, I mean decision boundaries closer to the original ones. And in the figures, a, sm I mean, a smaller area on the curve means a better explanation. And you can see our method out outperforms the baselines. Second, we also I mean, assess the sparsity of the explanation method. As shown in the table here, a larger score means a better explanation, meaning the method can assign high score to a relevant small number of features. And here again, in the figures, a large area, mean, area on the curve it means a better I mean, explanation. And showing the figure and tables, our method also has the best performance regarding sparsity. Thanks to the sparse group lasso method we applied to the method and to the, our model, and we can achieve cross group as well as within group sparsities. In addition, we also evaluate the completeness and stability of the explanation. Completeness refers to creating proper results for all possible inputs and stability examine whether the explanation is stable I mean, among multiple wrongs. If the model gives different results among different wrongs, so that means the model may not be still suitable for a security application. To conclude, our method has the best overall performance when comparing with the baselines. And uh, as mentioned before, one more step further, our method can generate in defense rules Regarding the practicability, we tested our model method with four popular defense tools, OpenFlow, IPTable, PFSense, and Squid, and showcasing four different rules. Here, the first rule is a per-flow rule, and second rule is a per-host rule, and third rule is a multi-host rule. And again, here, the rule four is not mentioned in the previous presentation, and it's a allow rule, it's not a block rule. So since we want, sometimes we want to watch this important service in the network, so we can use allow rule to achieve that goal. We also evaluated the efficiency of our method. We observed that, we observed that most, I mean, more than 95% of the explanation latency is under 700 milliseconds, and the average generation latency is around 25 milliseconds. 
Finally, we demonstrate that our method can help troubleshoot the detection errors. We also showcase that our method can enable active response with improved performance. And choosing the Hebrew, we can reduce more than 65% of the detection errors. Also, as you can see from the figures, the improved system can precisely block the malicious traffic while minimize the impact on the benign traffic. In conclusion, our work advanced the field of active intrusion response by first explaining the detection result and then generating defense rules. In the future, we plan to explore transformers and uh, attention mechanisms to redesign the deep learning based network intrusion detection system because a self explainable model is better than a model that needs an extra explanation method. We also want to explore methods to improve the robustness and the accuracy at the same time, since nowadays there are a lot of, in terms of adversary examples, I mean, in the, sometimes some adversary example is in the input space, and sometimes adversary example is in the embedding space. So we try to find some method to balance those, I mean, robustness and, and, and accuracy. We hope that our work will continue contribute to the development of a more reliable and network intrusion detection system. Thank you for your attention, and I now I'm open to any question you may have.